This is a virtual specimen of a bone. You can see it's a very long bone and um, it's obviously abnormal in structure. Uh, if you look at the centimeter ruler here, um, you can obviously see that it's a large bone. And looking at the structure of the bone, this is the tibia. This is the proximal tibia. We can see the articular surface. And this would be the distal tibia where it articulates with the ankle um, and the foot. And what we can see is that uh, right about in the middle region of the shaft, there is an overlapping area of the bone. So what has happened is that there was a previous fracture. This would be the proximal end of the fracture site and the distal end. And instead of aligning them end to end in a straight line, uh, there has been malalignment. So this is called malunion. It is already healed currently. There has been a callus previously and the bone has healed in this position. So look at the results. Uh, obviously, the limb would be significantly shorter than before. And therefore, when there's two legs of different length, the patient will end up limping. This will put a lot of stress on the joints, all the way from the hip joint to the knee joint to the ankle and the foot. So the patient will be at higher risk of developing earlier osteoarthritis. And not only that, there will also be a deformity in the shape. So probably if the leg is uh, bent or it is crooked. And these are some of the clinical effects that you can imagine when you look at such a specimen. So the diagnosis here is malunion of the tibia due to previously uh, healed fracture, but not healing in a straight alignment, but uh, in a position where the bone ends have overlapped each other.